Hey, Brian G. Johnson here from iMobileCreative.com. This is Module 2. We're talking Mem Studio, and in Module 2, we're talking how to make all kinds of cool images, collages, etchings, cartoons, how to manipulate and modify images. We're talking different types of apps and lots more. This particular video, we're going over the tremendous app called WordSwag. Now, WordSwag allows you to make really cool mems, and you can kind of work outside of the box and apply these in a lot of different ways. I use these to create great intros for videos. I use these to create great video thumbnails, which helps me to drive more traffic because they're more visually engaging. Now, when you fire up WordSwag, <clears throat> pardon me, you'll have two options. In the lower left, you'll have the camera app, or you can select the uh, photos icon that will allow you to access uh, photos and search pixel bay. Okay, pretty cool. Let's say we want to create a, a mem and we want something like beachy. Okay, I'm going to type in beach. I'm going to hit uh, return, and I've got these images I can use if I so desire. I'll click on the image I want, and when we do that, the image comes into Word Swag, and we have several different options. Number one, if we would like, we can kind of zoom in, crop, and to do that, just pinch out. Put two fingers down on the screen and pinch away, and you'll zoom in. You can move the image around, and notice that we have selected, at this point, square crop. That's really helpful as the image is optimized for uploading to Instagram. Now, if I want to stick with this and I want to do something for Instagram, maybe I do just about like that, a little bit of a cropping. And I, what I'm trying to do is kind of get a lot of blue sky and blue water. So when I add the text, it uh, really is showing up well against a blue background. I like what I have there. I'm going to select square crop and boom, we're good to go. Next, I'm going to simply read the screen. It says double tap me to change text. Okay, double tap, and I come into the text screen. Now we have a couple options, and a recent update really gave this app more functionality and gave the user more control. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right now, auto line breaks are off. If I turn them on, then and if I save, then this tap, uh, text will basically um, auto line break depending on the different styles. And notice we have several layers of options. The first one is presented to us in a black bar and the options are style, color, image. So let's just say I want a color, kind of a solid white, which I'll select. I'll go back to style and notice the second bar options we have different styles right now I'm in trend and I can uh, scroll to the right and select the different uh, text styles that I might want to use like stack attack or uh, precisely Sheldon I really like shout out myself so let's see what we get for that with that I should say and sure enough um, our blue background is really working to our advantage we can even do better if I select image to the right I can select the brightness I want I can make it a little darker a little brighter and obviously since our text is white as I uh, go to the right and increase the brightness it's harder to see the image and it's harder to read the text so I'm gonna slowly pull it to the uh, left until I kinda of find a happy medium and I think that is it there. So I'll leave that there. I'm going to navigate back to style. And then I'm going to select the various numbers located at the very bottom of the screen. And basically, um, these are different text layouts ready to go. Different, So it's like a style within a style. So we're in shout out and these are our different options. So first again, let's go back and let's double tap. And I'm going to just clear this text and type in my own. Life truly is a beach. And uh, I 
I'm going to actually keep that. I like it. Life truly is a beach. And I'm going to kind of size that text and kind of pop it up in the top here. And I still think I need a little bit more uh, co contrast. And I'm going to kind of darken the picture on the brightness tab. And that's great right there. I'll go back to style. And if I don't like any of the preset styles by scrolling through the numbers, I can hit the dice icon until I find one. There we go, right there. One that I like. That's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and select done. And now the image is basically being saved. However, there are a few more options we can take advantage of. And those are located uh, below the more. So I can add a logo or watermark. I'll click that now and I have an opportunity to select either text or image. I don't have a watermark image, so I'm going to select text. And uh, what happens is basically you get the same image with the same text and you're going to want to go in and edit that text once again. So I'm going to double tap on the text. I'm going to hit the X in the right hand corner doing that now. I'm going to type in my name and this time I'm going to select auto line breaks off. There we go. And, I, to do, and the reason I'm doing that is I know that I want the layout just like this. So auto line breaks are off and I also know that I want to go with a particular style that I use every time I kind of add my name to an image, which is line and style number one. So I'll do that now, and I'm just going to wait until I get a layout that I like. And what I'm looking for is just my name with no lines or any other uh, anything else added. And I'll, that was almost it, but there's a line under the G, so I'll continue, and now there's a line under Johnson. And I'll continue, and there's a line above Brian. And sooner or later, I'll win, because I always win, and I don't give up until I do. And there we go. And I'm going to make this just about the right size. And I'm going to select Done. Now, a couple of pretty neat options we have. Uh, I can go ahead and share this straight to Twitter. Let's go ahead and do that. And what will happen is we'll get this kind of thing will pop up, and I can share that straight to Twitter. I'm going to hit cancel, or I can share it straight to Instagram or Facebook, wherever I'd like. Or I can simply drop out of the app, and I'll do that now, and I'll select photos. And you'll notice that on the camera roll, and also in my photo stream, the image that I just created is ready for us. And I'll open it up, and you can see it looks pretty good. Life truly is a beach. And that's a beautiful image, it's a beautiful mem, and that's just how easy word swag is to use. Now again, <clears throat> let's go into word swag one more time, and I want to show and share a few ideas on how you can make amazing, cool, uh, very personally branded images that will help you uh, get noticed, and that's really the first step in marketing. If people don't notice, you're out of luck. I'm going to select Word Swag. This time I'm going to come into the Photos or uh, Album. And I'm going to select Camera Roll in the upper right hand corner. Now in the previous module I talked about really organizing your photos. And you'll notice I have video images. Those are perfectly sized for HD video, 1280 by 720. And I've really organized my various albums like travel testimonials. And notice we have Sand Dune, Sand Dunes 2014. I'll select that now, and you'll notice I have all kinds of images. And I might want to select one kind of, let's just see what we see here. These are good right here. These work real well. And I'll just simply select... Um, this one is great. Hey, I'm given the peace sign. Now again, if I want to do the square crop, I can. Or I can select don't crop in the upper right hand corner. And then I can come in, double tap, and type something like rock your day. And I'll hit uh, save. And I'm going to come in and select something like uh, shout out. 
and I'm going to double tap again. Now notice I have auto line breaks off. So let's type it out like this. Rock your day. Bam. And that will allow me just to kind of pop it right there. That's pretty good. I like the way that's looking. So let's go ahead and save that now. I'm going to select Done. And again, I'm going to come in and click on Add Logo or Watermark, and I'll select Text. And I'll come in, I'll move that text where I want it approximately, and I'll add my name again. Looking good. Lastly, I need to select the style I want, which is line and space number one. And I'm going to just go through and scroll until I see that right there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit done. And this is a great way to, you know, really use your phone as a creation studio because that's exactly what it is. The phones today are so powerful. We can do so much with them and here you see this is the image we just created I can upload that I might have wanted to drag the Brian G Johnson to the maybe the right hand corner and made that a charcoal gray that would have looked great against the sand lots of things we can do I hope you found this video helpful again you can learn more about kind of this kind of thing by visiting iMobile Creative, content creation on the go for iPhone and iPad users. I'm Brian G. Johnson, and hey, stay golden.